Hi and welcome to the first video in this series on 2D game design in Unity. Throughout this series I'm going to be teaching you how to build a 2D game with Unity and the C-sharp programming language. Uh, so Unity can be used um, to build a range of different games for different platforms uh, like desktop on Mac and Windows, uh, mobile with uh, Android and iOS and other pl platforms including consoles. Uh, and you can get started for free as well. So you can build 2D games and you can also build 3D games and games for uh, virtual reality. But in this series, uh, we're gonna be looking at how to build a, a 2D game. And we're gonna build a 2D platformer style game, but the skills that you'll develop and take away uh, from this series can be applied to a range of different types of games. So firstly, what we're gonna be looking at is how to download and install uh, Unity and how to get uh, set up with your first project. So to get started you'll need to go to unity.com and then you can click on get started. And to start with, uh, to build a game uh, you can use the free version. So if you click on individual the free version is called the personal uh, edition. So um, you can go to the personal edition and you can get started um, with that for free. Um, basically, you can use this free version as long as your revenue um, or funding is less than $100,000 in the last 12 months. So yeah, uh, so you can go to personal, which is a free version, click get started. And then uh, you might have two options here. It might say um, start here for first time users or go here for returning users. Um, you can just click here for returning users. It's just a slightly different installation process, but it doesn't really matter too much. So um, you can go there and then uh, accept the terms and click on download Unity Hub. So Unity Hub is not the actual full Unity program. It's just the program uh, that you use to install um, the version of Unity that you want and to um, browse projects that you're working on and open them or to create new projects from. So it's not the actual game design uh, editor. It's just uh, a hub program where you, you get started uh, installing what you want to install and uh, creating or opening projects. So download the Unity Hub. And once you've downloaded and installed the Unity Hub, you should be able to find it in your applications and click on it uh, to open it. So I've already got it open. And uh, this is what it's going to look like. So you have these different tabs here. You have projects where you can open recent projects um, that you've been working on on this device. Um, or you can click here to create a new project. And you can also choose which version of Unity you want to create that project in if you have multiple um, versions installed. So you click new to create a new project. Um, or you can click add to add a project from a folder. So if you've, if somebody else has shared a project with you and you wanna work on it, you can browse for the folder that it's in. Um, or if you've been working on a project and it's not showing up in this list here, then you can click on add and browse um, your computer for the folder that it might be stored in. Okay, so that's where you create new projects or uh, add existing projects uh, to work on. Uh, but before you can actually create a project, you'll need a version of Unity installed. So you can go down to installs and I've already got the 2021 version, 2021.1.15 uh, F1. <laughs> um, I've already got that installed um, with support for building games for a Mac. Um, but to start off with, when you have installed Unity Hub for the first time, you won't actually have a Unity installation yet. So what you'll need to do is click on add. Now I've already got Unity 2021 installed, so I'm not gonna install another version of Unity, but if you were doing this, if you were installing Unity for the first time, you would choose the release that you want to uh, install. So generally you can just go with the recommended release or um, the most recent of the official releases. There are some pre-releases or beta versions, um, but generally I would recommend sticking with um, the official or recommended releases. So um, you could go with the latest recommended release, click next. Then here you choose which um, 
build support uh, options you want to have. So if you're wanting to build games just for Mac and you're working on a Mac, then you would just select that. If you're working on Windows and you want to build games for Windows, then you'd make need to make sure you choose Windows build support. Um, and if you're wanting to build games, uh, for example, for Android or for iOS um, or for Linux, uh, then you can choose those different build support options there. In this series though, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make games for desktop, so for Mac and Windows. So what I demonstrate in these videos will work the same for both Mac and Windows, just depends which operating system you're using and um, which one you wanna develop your games for. Um, but we won't look at mobile games in this series, so um, we'll just focus on desktop games. Okay, so uh, I'm working on a Mac and if I was just planning on making games for Mac, I would just stick with Mac build support and then I click done and it would start installing. Um, but I already have Unity installed, so I'm just gonna go to projects, click on new, and here you can choose whether you wanna make a 2D project or a 3D project. In this series, we're gonna be building a 2D game. So I'm gonna select 2D. I'm gonna give it a name. And then you can choose which folder you wanna save it in. So I've already got a dedicated folder for my uh, games there. All right, and then I'll just click create. So um, it might take a minute for uh, this to start up. Okay, so the Unity editor has finished loading and is ready to use. So when you open Unity, it's gonna look something like this. Uh, you'll have these different panels on your screen, um, which each has a, a different purpose. And all of these different panels can be resized and uh, they can be moved around as well. So you can drag and drop uh, panels from one side to, oops, from one side to the other. Um, and split your screen up however you uh, would like to do that. Okay, um, so you can really arrange this however you like. Um, but if you've arranged it in a way uh, that you don't like and you wanna get it back to how it was in the beginning, you can always click on Window, Layouts, and then click on Reset All Layouts, and uh, that will just take you back to how it looked from the beginning. So basically we have the hierarchy, uh, we have the project panel, we have the scene panel uh, or scene view, and then we have the inspector panel as well as this toolbar up the top. Okay, so down the bottom in the project panel, this is where you have all of your assets. So assets include scenes. Um, so each scene can be considered uh, maybe like a level that you might be working on in a game or a world that you might be building in a game. So uh, each, each different level in your game might be a different scene. All right, so usually there's a scenes folder here that will contain your scenes, um, or there might just be no folder, um, but it's good to organize the different parts of your project into folders. Um, and you can create folders down here by right clicking, and then you can click on create folder. And you can organize all of the different assets in your project into different folders. So assets include things like the scenes themselves that you're working on. Um, graphics like characters, animations, uh, your backgrounds, different objects that are gonna be in your scene, as well as scripts that contain code that control the game, um, sound effects and background music, all of those different things um, that go into a scene in a game are called assets and uh, you can view all the assets for the entire project, for every scene, in the project panel. The hierarchy, which is up here on the left, that just lists the scenes that are uh, sorry, that just lists the assets that are in the current scene that you're working on. So for example, in your assets, you might have um, different background images and the, the scene that you're working on, you might have dragged one of those background images into that scene. It would show up here in uh, the hierarchy. So the hierarchy lists all of the assets that belong to just the current scene. So you can select them and edit them, move them around, that kind of thing. Okay, um, the scene panel just here, that's where you actually um, design your game, all right? So this is where you can drag and drop things like backgrounds, characters, objects in your scene and move them around and position them and, and rotate them and, and resize them. And, and so that's where you actually build and design your game in the scene view. In the game panel, that's where you preview what the game would look like if it was running. 
And to actually run the game, you can click on the little play button here and to stop it, you can click on it again to stop it. On the inspector panel over here, that's where you can view the properties or information about different uh, assets that you've selected in your scene. So for example, to, to start with when you create a scene, it's gonna be empty and uh, all that is really gonna exist in that scene is the camera um, that the player will be so sort of looking through when they're playing the game. So uh, when you create a new scene, there's generally just gonna be the camera. That's all that's gonna be in the scene. So if I click on that camera, um, I can see in, this, in the scene view here, but also on the inspector panel, I can view all the information about it, like its position, its rotation, its scale or size, and other bits and um, pieces here that I can change if I like. All right, so um, those are the main panels in Unity. And then up the top here, you have the toolbar, you have this um, view tool or the hand, which you can use to uh, kind of move around your scene. You have the move tool, which can be used to, to move an asset that you've selected in your scene to reposition it. Uh, the rotation tool to, to rotate an asset that's in your scene. And also the scale tool here to resize an asset. Um, but we'll be looking at that in the uh, next few videos, how to use those different tools. Okay, so basically the project panel lists all of the assets for the entire project that, you, that you're working on. Uh, the hierarchy just lists the assets that are being used in the scene that you're currently working on. Uh, the scene view here is where you're actually editing the, the scene in your game. Game panel is where you pro preview the, the game, what it would look like when it's running. And the inspector panel is where you can view all the information, the, the properties of uh, elements or assets in your scene. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at how to start setting up a scene in a game. Thanks for watching.